So what are some cool ways you can accessorize the boat that don't require any installation? Like what are some options that you know, put this here and it's just good to go? Rod, like something I could just stick into a rod holder, right? Yeah, that would be right. Uh, yeah. Are that accessible? Be, yeah, I think um, there's a know, lot of options from a, from a rod mount accessory standpoint. I think specifically on the fishing side, we've got quite a few options. You know, you've got mm-hmm. uh, a rod mount uh, fillet table that uses uh, the magma base that that they designed specifically for their grill. We use mm-hmm. a lot of those in production on starboard parts. So you've got a regular fillet table that drops in there. Um, one of the first things I kind of gifted my buddy when he he bought a, a new Key West. And actually was surprised, you know, we took it out and we used it for cutting bait and all that good stuff, but he cleaned it up, did a good job cleaning it up. And then I saw him, his wife text a picture of them using it or she was using it to make sandwiches for everybody oh, while they were amazing. hanging out yeah. at the sandbar, you know? Um, I also think that that would be something where you could set a little grill on top of that table. For sure. On the size. I've know, done that. You, you've 100%. got hundred yep, percent. You can set the grill on top of it. So the other from, thing, didn't you give him also some outrigger rod holders? Yeah. Outrigger rod holders, which again, you know, when he bought the boat, you know, didn't really understand that there was a lot of other expenses that were afterwards for that. Mm -hmm. Um, That's the budget outrigger system. Right. Right. That was the budget outrigger system. You know, I think for $150, $200, you know, we have the the powder coated outriggers that match all of the the powder coating on the boat. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, that was another really big win for him. Um, from a cost savings perspective. And we've done like rigging trays. I've got a captain down in uh, Isle Murata mm-hmm. that, you know, really was a big part in kind of developing some different rigging trays that work well for him um, with some rod holders. And that was for like the deck of a, a bay boat, right? Yeah. So he runs a, a contender out of Key West as a guide and was looking for somebody you know, on the, the contender that he's running. He's got a little casting platform up front. A lot mm-hmm. of times clients will go up there and kind of sit while well, he had rods sitting in a zero degree rod holder on the, on the deck of the boat mm-hmm. and they'd be drinking a beer, a Gatorade or something. And all of a sudden the, the, the strike would go off and he'd they'd go, well, what do I do with my drink? He goes, throw it, <laughs> throw it out, you know, <laughs> catch the fish. Right. So, you know, we recently did kind of a pedestal mount thing for him that mm-hmm. acts kind of as a, like a rocket launcher really is what it looks like. It's got a couple cup holders in it with some rod holders on it so that, the client can just drop their drink in there and, and catch the fish. A bay um, boat rocket launcher. <laughs> yes, that's I, pretty cool. I think <laughs> from a from a fishing side, there's a lot, but from the cruising side, we've got a couple parts too, like the rod. Yeah, we've got like a rod spike. That does really good. It's just nice. You, you never have enough cup holders, just like what what Greg's running into there. So yeah, drop a, a cup holder into a rod holder, and now if you're at the sandbar or something, or you're just hanging out, you're not really fishing. Maybe you're just cruising the intercoastal or the canals or whatever. It's nice to have a place to set things down where, you know, it's not going to get knocked over. Yeah. And if the boat's primarily used for fishing, but you know, once a month you take mom out to the sandbar with the family and whatnot, you're not Mm -hmm. drilling or screwing into the boat to add another cup holder. You just add that cup holder by throwing that in there. Keep a, you know, four of them inside your console when you mm-hmm. want to make the change. Yeah, those are nice because they're they're super super budget. If you if you right. want to go a little more high end, you've got the Docktail Bar, of course, for you know, sure. Which is a great product. It's, mm-hmm. It uses the magma base as well. You know, it drops right into your rod holder, and mm-hmm. it's uh, you know, cut out with different size uh, you know, holders for you know maybe your different liquor bottles or your mm-hmm. two liter bottles, and then of course your you know solo cups and just you know regular things like that. So you know, there's applications both on the fishing side, but also on the you know the cruising sandbar. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, side as well. Don't we have some like fender holders too? There are some fender holders that go directly into a rod holder. Yeah, that's convenient. Yep, absolutely convenient. And again, you know, the advantage is, is the guy that's not having to install an additional cleat or a little fender holder into mm-hmm. the fiberglass of the boat. You're able to just drop that on. Those were actually a product we saw Dave purchase when he got the, that the new boat. So mm-hmm. it was something that wow, these are cool. Definitely have to add these to the catalog for yeah. sure. There's a lot you could do for sure. A lot of options.